Welcome to the Compliance Video Series. Today we will be discussing SkySlope, how to create a transaction for the buyer side. Next we have Create Transaction. This is if you're representing a buyer and you have an executed offer. You're going to click on Create Transaction. You have an accepted offer. And you're going to start filling out the information here as well. Here you have your name, which already automatically fills. The checklist type here. You're going to click here and you're going to choose from one of these options. So we can go ahead and choose, let's just say we're going to choose residential 1 to 4. Then we're going to type in an MLS number, a year built, a street number, we'll just say um, 456, and a street name, we'll just say, let's say Q Street, and a zip code, we'll type in the same one as before to auto populate state, city, and county. The type here is important. This will tell compliance what side of the file you represent. Are you the buyer's agent, the seller's agent? Are you double ending or is it a referral? This side we're representing the buyer, so we're going to click on sale. Class is a property. The source is where we got the business. Let's just say it was a personal referral. Office lead, no. The closing date, click here and let's just set it for 30 days. And the acceptance was today. Sale price, we'll just say five million again, and then you click on the next button. So all we're doing is filling out data, clicking next. Right here is our seller contact. Again, we represent a buyer, so I'm just going to see uh, what name is on the contract, and I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. We'll just say this is Sally Seller. Save, that's in blue, and then we'll click next right here. Then we have the buyer. Remember, we auto populate the emails, or I can just type it in here as well. It's up to you. I recommend typing an email address. It just saves you some time later on. Click Save, then click Next. Here we have the title company, the escrow company, and an attorney. Only one of the three here is required, so don't worry about filling all of them out. I know it looks like a lot of red information. You can see at the top is a reminder, at minimum, one of the three below is required to get to the next page. So just worry about typing one of these in. You can go ahead and you can type in a contact, if you've worked with a title company before, a specific rep, you can click on the email and it will auto populate all of the information like that. Then in here you can type in the name, click on save, then next. Agent representing the other side, you can go ahead and type that information in here or you can use the auto populate feature, it's up to you. We'll just say this is Agent Allen and I'll type in the phone number and what company he's with, let's just say Keller Williams. Click Save. You have lender and home warranty. You can fill those out now if you have them, or you can come back and fill them out later. When you're done, click on the red Submit button, and that will take you to the commission page. Where here, again, you have one red field that's required that's not filled out. We'll just say 3%. And then you have other fields that are if applicable. So if you want to, you can fill out these fields here. If you're a referring agent, make sure you add them in using the Add button. Any additional changes in your commission or donations you're making, maybe you're paying for the home warranty, you can type those in down here as deductions. And then click on Next right here at the right side. This is the Property tab. So this is very similar to what you've already done on MLS. So this page is not required. It is your preference. If you'd like to type in uh, information about the property, you can. Otherwise, just click on Submit. And that's going to create now your transaction. So what you'll notice is that we've got a checklist again, where we have our second review here at the top. And you can keep scrolling through here to see that we've got third review, fourth review, and then all the way to the bottom, we've got our fifth and sixth review right here, our post-closing. So this is what our checklist looks like. Keep in mind, some of these requirements can change depending on the type of file. For example, the lead-based paint right here. If this was built before 1978, you may see that this item could turn red. So compliance can turn items red or off uh, to if applicable, back and forth. The same concepts would occur here. We'd be getting our documents, no matter how we had them in paper form, digital signature, emailed or faxed, and getting them into our document section, managing them, splitting them if need to, then attaching them to our checklist. Then you can also email out of the document section to get to the next review stage. You can see here we have an email address. It populates based off the street name and street number that we can send all of our documents to and all of our correspondence. 
As a quick feature right here, you do have a transaction summary available. You can click this. What this is is a cheat sheet for you. So if you've typed in all that information, you could download and print out our transaction summary like this. And this just shows you at a quick glance all of the information um, required or not required, but you've entered in on your deal. So you can see all the different contacts and data that we've entered in. That way I have it as a quick uh, sheet of paper if I need it. The document section is exactly the same. The log is also the same uh, as the listing side. I'll go ahead and click the home button. Remember you can click home here or you can click the logo here at the top left and that will take you back to your home screen. That concludes today's session of the compliance video series, Skyslope Create Transaction, Buyer Side. Thank you for viewing.